Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. So Scorpio, we've got Pablo or Paul. It stands for little and it's a boy name. So some of you could have a little boy. She devil. And then we've got the queen of swords. All right. So it looks like this could be a divorcee type of situation. Somebody's divorced, separated. Somebody's got a little boy. Um, or a boy or someone who is, you know, youth uh, could be a boy or someone is pregnant with a boy. Somebody feels like the the ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, whomever is a complete, you know what, is a she-devil. So this is a person who comes up with, you know, um, scenarios to bring drama, chaos to, to uh, other people's lives. Someone feels like somebody uses the child to to manipulate to bring drama this is somebody with the queen of swords who's the, the divorcee she may not be over the fact that she is divorced she got left or she left or whatever somebody's not over the fact that the relationship is over somebody is um just bitchy cold coveting what the other person has somebody wants more money somebody's asking for more money somebody feels like um Someone could be holding the child or children back. What else? We got Page of Swords. So definitely, we got like a boy or a girl um, with the Page of Swords here. Somebody is, um, you know, like immature with their how they speak. You know, rude, tactless, careless um, with the Page of Swords here. Let's see what else we got. Somebody could just be causing drama. Somebody wants to talk to the other person very little. Because every time there is more conversation, there is argument. There's somebody trying to maybe use a child to, you know, get knowledge, to gain knowledge, to get more money. This talks about creative ways of how to get more money. So somebody's trying to get more money. We got judgment. We got you, Scorpio. Uh, we've got the age of Aquarius. We've got somebody awakening. Okay. And then we've also got like a decision. I don't know if somebody wants to... Um, have something relooked or rehashed or look over it again so i don't know like this could even be like going back to court looking over the papers looking over the judgment okay so this could be the d divorce decree alimony child support whatever somebody's like this needs to be judged again or we need somebody to over to look at it again yeah could be used uh scorpio six of cups with the queen of wands it's like somebody is saying i'm 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 used to better times um to the past i'm used to having my way i'm used to having more money uh, more opportunity um the six of cups it's, uh, it's children also so that this woman can live comfortably the she devil this is a calculated person S someone could be using magic someone could be using anything to get what they want um the Six of Cups, it's like somebody is using um, innocence. You know, somebody is blissfully unaware that they're being used. It could be the child. This is somebody experiencing maybe negative karma or needing to go inward, be reflective. Somebody's depth. This talks about paperwork, Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants somebody, to, another judge or a court, a legal team to look over the paperwork, look over the judgment because I can't make it up. They want more money. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They want more opportunity for wealth. They want more money. They want something to be done over. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Let me see what the advice is for you. I'm trying to keep these under five minutes. What is the advice? Get your own personal reading at the website level. Uh, Ten minute readings are on sale for $25. Take advantage. I'll link it below. All right, let's see. Uh, yes, is a definite yes. This person, whoa, you got two yeses coming out. This person won't. Yes, yes, and yes. They want more money. Someone will just not let go. Will not, you know, adhere to the judgment. All right, that's what I have. Many blessings to you. All links are below. Catch me live every Tuesday and Thursday, 9:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I answer your questions. Come and uh, take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create 
are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams 